So Monty, today we are headed to 11 Galleries. Yeah, that's right everyone, 11 Galleries. In Los Angeles, there's so many artists, so many galleries, so many openings every weekend. There's 20 to 50 on any given weekend in Los Angeles. So we use a website called What's On LA to look up a bunch. I have a bunch of favorites. We're gonna check them all out. We got a list that we're going off of. And I'm super excited to show you sort of what it's like to be a collector in Los Angeles, seeing all of these shows, going to all these galleries, meeting a bunch of the artists. We're gonna try to do a couple interviews along the way. Normally my channel is sort of in-depth interviews with artists at openings. So I'll go to art openings and galleries or even studios and talk to artists about their artwork, uh, their practice, what they're making, sort of the show, the reason the show's called that, why they became an artist how art's changed their life, what it's like making art in Los Angeles. So I'm super excited to do that today, talk to some people, to see all these shows, and to show you around the LA art scene. We are in downtown Los Angeles, about to pull up to Super Chief Gallery. Uh, they had a location sort of deeper downtown, um, but that location uh, stopped during the pandemic after one of the uh, local, um, uh, cannabis production plants exploded uh, in a nearby building and they had to condemn sort of like the area. Um, they finally reopened now that the pandemic's over uh, and they do this monthly uh, swap meet where all these artists and creators are brought in to sell t-shirts and artworks and prints and sculptures and flowers. Um, we're gonna go there today and hopefully pick out a piece for Kristen, who's opening tonight at Corey Helford. Uh, Kristen is a good friend of mine. Um, she's married to Luke Pelletier, uh, and I was in attendance at the wedding. So uh, if you invite me to the wedding, I'll bring you a gift to your opening. <laughs> um, normally I don't do gifts for every artist because it ends up being weird to bring a gift for someone you've just met. Um, so I'm excited for this one. I really, really like Super Chief. Um, Bill and Ed, the owners, are super nice. Um, and they always have so many events going on from their NFT related events to their art openings. Um, the current show, their 10 year anniversary has been up for a little bit now uh, and they continue to just do events on the inside uh, with that show up. So yeah, it's super fitting that we're at Super Chief Gallery first. Let's go in and find a little opening gift for Kristen. around the back too, outside. So I see some plants over here. I think that's gonna be the perfect gift. Let's go check it out. How much are these ones? Are 20, uh, 15 to 25 sliding scale. Okay, cool, cool. I'm getting this as a gift for an artist named Kristen Lu Wong, who's having an opening tonight at Corey Helford. I don't know if you know Kristen. Not yet. Um, Do you have Instagram? Yeah, yeah, I could show you. This is Bill, owner of Super Chief. We're going to see Kristen's opening tonight. Oh, hell yeah. So we bought her a little gift from uh, the man with the cactus sculptures. So it's Super Chief swap meet. Numero dos. The goal of this is kind of make a bi-monthly or tri-monthly event to put on as many independent artists we can who sell prints and clothes and merchandise and uh, other kind of things, put on food vendors from the neighborhood. And uh, we're going to try to do it every two, three months to keep it special. That way we're not beating people over the head with it. And uh, additionally, we're going to start running zine fairs with video screenings around the same schedule, like every two, three months, That's in addition to the That's exhibitions. Sick. And yeah. so hopefully with that, we can build a real organic community as well as have like our curation and all that. So we are headed to Suzanne Bellmeter Gallery. Um, this is my first time going here. It's a gallery downtown. We're seeing uh, Levon Jenkins and Nash Glynn. Um, so we, 
This is a gallery I hadn't heard of before. Um, when I was doing research for this, um, I went to the What's On uh, website, like I was saying, and looked up sort of all of the Instagrams of the artists and galleries opening this weekend, where they were, and sort of what we could fit along the route. And I thought these artists uh, had some really, really cool work uh, and that we could check it out. Um, we're gonna be a little bit early, uh, really trying to hit so many today, so I'm excited. Uh, we just heard of even one more to tack on at the end. It's gonna be open late night, so excited for that one downtown. Um, and yeah, uh, this is going to be the second of what, 12 galleries that we're doing tonight. So let's go. Hey, we're here in downtown Los Angeles at the second gallery of our gallery tour Los Angeles. From a collector's perspective, we are at Suzanne Velmeter. Um, we are seeing Levon Jenkins as well as Nash Glynn. Uh, so I'm excited to see their work, both figurative work. Uh, Levon Jenkins makes works uh, almost like Philip Gustan. Uh, so we'll go in, check this out, keep it real quick, and head on to the next show uh, at Over the Influence that starts at 5, uh, Shah Yuri. So here we go. We uh, did the first gallery, Super Chief. We're crossing that out. We did the second gallery. And now we're at the third, but it turns out I was wrong. It's not actually open today. I, I'm not even sure how I came up with that. I thought there was an opening at Over the Influence in downtown LA, but I am not seeing it on the What's On app at the moment. Um, I'm not seeing it on either of their pages. If there was an opening, it might have been canceled. Um, or it's tomorrow, or it was yesterday. I'm not really sure. Um, so we missed that one. And the next one is until 6 o'clock, so we have some time. It's only 4. Um, we're probably going to head uh, to grab some food or something. Take a little break uh, back in the Hollywood area, uh, where Diane Rostenstein is the next gallery we're trying to hit up. We'll see you there. Hey guys, so we've moved from the west side over to the east side. We're now sort of in the Hollywood area on Melrose at Relay Gallery um, for a show called As the Sparks Fly Upwards by Michael Igwe. The works are darker, moodier portraits of figures sort of behind shadows in darker brown colors. Um, it's super cool on the inside. We'll check out the works and then head to the next gallery on our little show of seeing 12 galleries all at once. There's four more big ones in the Melrose West Hollywood area. We have The Hole, David Kordansky, another gallery, LA, um, and Diane Rosenstein. So we just finished up at Relay Gallery. Let's cross that shit off. So because we're coming from the east side now, we're gonna take this little backwards. We were gonna do Diane Rosenstein, the whole, then another gallery, but instead we're gonna do another gallery, the whole, then Diane Rosenstein, and then we'll loop back around to David Cordancy to finish up our night to go deliver the the uh, gift to Kristen and to see the other few shows. As you can see, we added on one, which is really cool. That's the Creepy Gal show uh, that we're trying to make around 10 o'clock. But yeah, headed to another gallery now. We're gonna be a bit early. It opens at six, it's only 5.30, so let's go see. Here, I'll type it in. Oh, there we go. So it's pretty close, only like 10 minutes away. Okay, come check this out. 
We're at another gallery. That's actually what it's called, Another Gallery LA, which is funny given how many galleries we're visiting today. This one's owned by Will NYC and run by Rue, a really, really fun manager who we hang out with all the time. Today we've got some really, really cool shows. My favorite is the Eleanor Redmond show, Frenemies, and then there's also a show called Lay Bear by Lily McRae. So let's go check it out. So we're here at our fifth or sixth gallery. I can't even keep count we're going to so many. It's called The Hole. This is a group show called Manscaping that does a really, really good job of putting together a bunch of work from a bunch of different artists that this uh, gallery represents. Let's go check out all these different artists and all the different work they have in this show. I really, really love The Hole. The logo's really fun. They obviously have been based in New York historically and then opened up this Los Angeles location. Uh, they had been previously white-walled and it looks like they repainted for this show. It looks really, really great. Let's go check it out. Here we are at Diane Rosenstein for Abbe Odadina. Um, this is a solo show that I'm super excited about. We're gonna walk in right here and see what it's all about. We just finished up at Diane Rosenstein, um, and then we're headed to David Kordansky. If you look, it's 7.20 and we're ahead of fucking schedule. We're going to hit every fucking gallery. How does that feel? Feels pretty good. Um, as a collector, going to this many galleries in one day is exhilarating, it's inspirational. I'm really excited for David Kordansky and then to go see Kristen at Corey Helford to give her her gift. Let's go. So we're walking up to David Kordansky Gallery. This is the seventh gallery we've gone to tonight. As you can see, it's dark out now, and we're gonna just keep hitting up galleries till we hit 11. So let's go. There's Aaron Curry, Ruby Nari, and a, another artist that we're gonna go see at this show. So I'm super excited. Uh, it's more sculptural works. Even the pieces on the wall are pretty sculptural. So I think it's gonna be a fun ass time.
so we're just pulling under the brand new 6th Street Bridge uh, up to Corey Helford, where we're going to see Kristen Liu Wong at her opening, uh, solo opening. She's got this amazing piece uh, of fire and sort of like this woman made out of wood. I'm super, super excited to see it and uh, go check out the show. Here we are at Corey Helford. We finally made it. Congrats! I got oh you God. something. Oh, Be careful, man. it might poke you. <laughs> How's it going? I don't know, he said it might poke me. We uh, were at the um, super cheap swap meet earlier, so we picked up a little. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> cool. So I'm buying a print right now by Kristen Lu Wong. This is of her main sort of motif. We saw her painting this in her studio, so I was super happy to take it home with me. Cool, thank you so much. Hey, look at that. Very cool. Let's take it. I feel like it's innovative that they store it flat like this. You don't have to roll it up. And that way it makes it really, really easy to drop it into a flat file. We just finished up at Corey Helford and we're headed to Subliminal Projects. It's supposed to be open until 11. Um, so we should be good. It's only 9.10 right now. Or it should be open until 10, so we should be good. Uh, there's a Dodgers game over there, so it might be tough to find parking, but I think we'll figure it out. And then we're going to the very, very last show, which is the, um, the creepy gal, lethal amount, um, sort of carnival, circus style show. Um, so I'm excited for that. So this would have been the last gallery of the night. We're headed up to Subliminal Gallery owned by Shepard Ferry. But we have one more after this that we learned about at the Super Chief Swap Meet from Anta, uh, the Creepy Gal show that's later. Bill was also telling us about it. Um, tonight at Subliminal, who are we seeing? I forget because it's been so many shows. It's Sophia Enriquez. So I'm super excited to see her work. Her work looks like something out of a, the Beautiful Losers movie, some of sort of the old style um, female train work um, that gets really popularized in that movie. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited to see this show. We're gonna be here real quick. Our batteries are almost fucking dead. So if it cuts off at any moment, it's because the camera stopped working, but we should be good to go to get these last two ones. So we're finally made it to the last event. Creepy Gal was the show we heard about from Anta at Super Chief Gallery. We're going to go see what everyone's dressed up as and what the art that they have to show. I think there's some performances, so it'll be a fun time. Let's go check it out.
And that's a wrap, folks. We did it. We went to every single gallery. It was 12 total. We just finished at the Creepy Gal show. So much clown stuff. That was crazy. Not really what I expected. When you go to that many shows in one day, it's hard to sort of know even what you're going to. But uh, it was such a good time. We saw so much cool shit. Hung out with Kristen at Corey Helford. Started the day at Super Chief at the Swap Meet. Talked to Bill uh, and all of the stuff in between from David Kordansky to another gallery. I feel like I saw so much art today. It was fucking sick. That's a wrap. That's a wrap.